Welcome to Exeter Math School's Christmas Lectures and um, thank you very much for joining us. I hope it proves to be a wonderful event, not exactly the same as all meeting together in a hall up at the university, but nevertheless um, going to be joyful and celebratory, we hope. It's been quite a year, but here's some Christmas cheer to uh, end it off with. So look, I'm going to dwell on the positive today um, and the wonderful things that have happened this year, despite everything else. Um, firstly, we've got a school full of wonderful students. Um, our staff have stayed safe and well, as have they, which has been fantastic. Um, there's never been a stronger community spirit, I think, um, than, than right now, with people really pulling together and having a much deeper appreciation for one, of, one another. And despite our students being really well motivated and the type that really want to come to school, this year they're even more grateful than ever for their lessons. So that's all fantastic. And through this tough time, not only have we managed to deliver teaching where we're learning skills of doing it remotely as well as face to face, we've also launched whole new courses for so year 13, diving into some really challenging curriculum X courses. A group of our students have created a new student newspaper. There's two issues on our website now. Do take a look if you've not had a chance to read it. So there's so much good that's going on. And this event traditionally is a time to celebrate some of that. And we're going to do exactly that today. So if you're watching from in school as staff or students, welcome. I hope you get some sense of event and celebration by being together for this. And if you're tuning in from home, you're also equally welcome. Thank you for your support this year. Thank you for joining us for this conference. And I hope it's going to make it really special. Um, I should say some thanks um, for these in particular Christmas lectures. I have to mention the University of Exeter and their academic staff because they've had a huge undertaking themselves moving all their learning from face to face to online and despite that have still managed to produce some fantastic projects for our students to do um, without them we wouldn't have the EMC as it is and without Ed guiding and leading it and driving it forward as well so that there just needs to be a huge acknowledgement and thanks there and while we're on that sort of subject of thanks I'd like to thank both the college and the uni for their unstinting support during this difficult time and the pulling together has definitely made us made us stronger than we would have been otherwise. And thank you at home parents and governors for your support. We've really, really felt it. And when we've been making tough decisions or been struggling at times, having your feedback has been overwhelming. And um, I will be emailing parents anyway, but just to say thank you hugely for your notes, your four pages of thanks that we received and for coordinating all that and your gift to staff. It meant a lot. More than one or two of us shed a, shed a tear when we, when, we, when we read those. So just thank you all round. It, it's been wonderful despite what else is going on. Um, but today I want to concentrate on our year 12 students on what they've done this term. It's been phenomenal after a period of time not in school and not engaging their brain as much as normal to come here and to step up to A-level studies and then on top of that to produce these wonderful projects. Um, absolute hats up off to you students. I am in awe of you. You are wonderful and I'm sure after this I'll be even more in awe of you. So try and enjoy it. Don't you worry, we will find another opportunity for you to speak in a hall full of 400 people. I don't want you to miss out on that on that chance. I'm sure you'll be delighted to hear. Um, but for now, I hope you will all be entertained. I hope you will enjoy the substance and the content, perhaps even learn something and see this as a real moment of celebration and coming together at the end of the year. So there's not a lot left for me to say apart from a very, very happy, safe, healthy Christmas to you all. I hope you manage to have some time with your loved ones and um, and get to relax and enjoy the end of the year. And um, we'll see you all in January. But for now, I'll hand you over to the year 12s. Bye.